EMG question of the day. Which of the following waveforms is more likely to indicate that the recording electrode is in attendance? Please look at the four figures and choose the correct answer A, B, C, or D. This is a histological specimen of a musculotendinous junction. The tendon is mainly compromised of dense regular connective tissue and is not capable of staying an advancing quadrupole. This situation is referred to as a tendon producing a sealed end effect. In this figure, I am representing an electrode tip abutting the tendon side of the muscular tendon junction, a display panel, and an advancing quadrupole. I will now explain a muscle fiber action potential propagation interaction with a tendon and its termination. This is a continuous process, but for the sake of explaining it, I will divide it in six stages. At the stage zero, the quadrupole is too far from the electrode to impact it, so the tracing is running at baseline. Stage one is characterized by quadrupole progression to the tendon's edge, and as a consequence, the capacitance current from the leading dipole impacts the electrode. At the display panel, the tracing curves down, reflecting the positive value of the advancing capacitance current. Stage 2 is characterized by the leading dipole dissipating. This is so because the electrical circuit is broken since the tendon cannot be charged. At the display panel, the tracing goes up because the leading dipole fails to produce ionic current. Thus, the tracing returns to baseline. Stage 3 is characterized by the trailing dipole progression to the tendon's edge. Thus, the ionic current from the trailing dipole impacts the electrode. At the display panel, the tracing goes up, reflecting the negative value of the advancing ionic current. Stage 4 is characterized by the trailing dipole dissipating because the tendon does not have voltage-gated channels. At the display panel, the tracing will go down because of the fading current source, thus returning to baseline. A stage 5 is characterized by the disappearance of the trailing dipole. In the display panel, the tracing runs at baseline. We have just discussed the seal-in effect when it comes to the tendon muscular junction, but the seal-in effect can also be brought about by the interaction of the EMG needle and muscle fibers. In such situation, the needle acts as a blocker, same as the tendon, but in addition as a recording device. In this figure, I have substituted the tendon for the tip of the needle penetrating the muscle fiber. As a consequence, the quadruple suffers the same fate, which I will summarize in the next few frames. At the stage zero, the quadruple is too far to impact the electrode and the tracing is running at baseline. At the stage one, the quadrupole advances and a positive deviation occurs due to the capacitance currents of the leading dipole. During stage two, the tracing returns to baseline because the leading dipole crashed. During stage three, a negative wave is present reflecting the ionic current impacting on the electrode. During stage four, the tracing returns to baseline as the trailing dipole dissipates. In stage five, the tracing is back to baseline since there is no longer any current impacting the electrode. So the answer to this question is A. Thank you very much for your attention.